So hey, I ordered a top hat adapter and a sprocket from King Sales and Sprockets, and I wanted to show you what it looks like. So here's the top hat right here. And the sprocket's right there. Uh, but there's one little problem. This is supposed to be 8 millimeter bolt hole. It actually measures 8.5 millimeters, which is a pretty big difference. Here's an 8 millimeter bolt. Derp, 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 derp. Yeah, super loose. Um, now that I got this thing bolted out, though, it's actually really hard to get it accurate because there's a lot of play here. Um, and you can see, see this little edge right here. There's a lot of motion in this thing. So if these bolts ever get loose, you're doomed. <laughs> um, I noticed with this other sprocket that I bought last year from King Sales and Service that disc brake holes are actually just dead on. And this is a really nice uh, flush mount here. With these, these nine hole, this nine hole pattern right here, same problem. 8.5 millimeter holes when they say that it takes an 8 millimeter bolt. So there's going to be a play in it. Now, the reason that's a problem for me is because I deal with electric setups with a lot of power. Um, it's not like a gas engine where you gradually make horsepower and torque. It's like um, you're basically going to push 100, 150 foot pounds from a stall, and if anything is off, it will be presented to you very fast <laughs> and the problem will show itself soon so since there's no way to index this to get it straight on I know that when I pull on it it's gonna try to slip uh, it's gonna test the uh, basically the grip of all these bolts and become a problem so if you have electric setup I don't recommend the top hat adapter or using the nine hole whole system at all because um, it looks like he's been machining these things to 8.5 millimeter instead of 8 for a while. <laughs> so just thought I'd let you know.